Bonjour and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I am so excited because I have my good friend Zamir who is with us today uh, because Zamir you just released a new product one of your new diffuser and thank you so much for sending it to me because I absolutely love it and I just wanted people to get to know you because I know you and I feel like everybody should know you because you're such an amazing human being and you're creating those uh, brilliant, diff brilliant, no joke, <laughs> brilliant uh, diffusers for all of us. And we should, you know, all thank you for that. So I was wondering if maybe you could tell us a little bit more about yourself, who you are and um, how you came to create diffusers. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Emily, for having me here We're in your channel. I'm super happy for this opportunity. And I want to try the best to answer those questions. And let's go ahead. So I am original from the Dominican Republic. So I came to the United States in 2007. And I've been involved in art all my life. So I was painting, I love to draw and all this. And then little by little, I start getting more into photography. So in 2009, I believe is when I started, when I had my first DSLR. And then I was like fascinated because it was another way to communicate and express art. So I was like, okay, here we go. You know, it's like another stuff to learn and everything. In, in uh, drawing and as a painter, lighting was the key. Yes. And in photography, I was like fascinated because of the light and the shadow. The two combination is what trace uh, the beauty behind. So everything started like that. And then I started doing a uh, wedding. So I was like a wedding photographer for a while. You were? Yeah. In Anchorage, Alaska. And I was so happy. And people get to meet. People over there, a uh, few people maybe remember me uh, from that that time back in those days. And it was, I really enjoyed it. I mean, wedding photographer, as a wedding photographer, I enjoy everything. I was fascinated and then I get it into product photography. And then I was like, oh, that's something new. So little by little. And then I remember like, I used to start maybe 2011 with macro. That was my first experience with, with macro and was using reverse uh, mount lens. Oh, I remember yeah. having my Canon and I reversed my Canon. And I thought I was, I was like super curious about. And then lighting, I was starting facing the problem with lighting. And I started buying gears and as, any, as anyone, I started buying gears and using here and there. And that's how I start but nothing seriously. I mean, I was more, you know, like, okay, let me do macro now and then something else. So it was like nothing super serious about mm -hmm. macro. But then in 2016 was when I really went into macro, when I was like more in love with the small world. That uh -huh. is huge. <laughs> and that's how I, I started designing Diffuser. I have a, a, a background as a designer. So okay. I went to UAA, University of Alaska, Anchorage, Anchorage, Alaska. And that's where I had my degree and doing like product design and doing uh, architectural and engineering design. Wow. And I had like a little bit there. And then I was uh, working uh, here in Florida where I moved uh, maybe eight years ago. Uh, and is... I was working here. In this is a big metal. challenge because you went from wedding photography and Anchorage, Alaska to macro photography and Florida. Total opposite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now I want I want to go back to Anchorage because I know the beauty that was over there. Anchorage is amazing. Alaska is a wonderful place. So I want to go back there just to do macro. So I know how fascinated 
uh, is that place. So uh -huh. my heart is over there. So I love Anchorage, Alaska, and my country too. I'm Dominican, so yes, it's a lot of fun over there too. So. <laughs> a lot of good macro opportunity yes. over there as well. <laughs> yes. And so what, um, you touched a little bit about it, about why you decided to uh, create the, the AK diffuser, because you said you, you were buying a lot of gears. And, and so how did you decide, hey, you know, this, this doesn't work for me. I'm going to do my own diffuser. And what's your thought process? How did you do that? Yeah. I want to share half a little bit of history right here. So everything is dollar with this. <laughs> oh my God. This is the first test that I did. So basically, let me see if I can. Yes. A little bit better. So it's a front panel and having like a little bit gap in the bottom. So I know a lot of light we're losing, but that's how everything start. And Little by little, I start modifying and controlling the light and closing everything. And I was happy with this. I mean, it was a huge jump in comparing like to what I was having before. And here I were having like a magnet that I was attaching to the flash on top. So it was like one click. Kunk. So and here, I don't know if you can still see, have like two little yes things so this little is like antennas yeah like antennas so i was having like a little light that i was like molding down so i can see the subject to focus so that's how i start and i destroy a umbrella that i was having <laughs> and i using uh, the reflector in the inside so that was the first one this is and... such a great idea you know i would totally have bought this from you yeah <laughs> yes, I think very clever especially with the magnet this is this is really brilliant yeah that's how i start and then i was like it's good but i know that i can i can make it better look better uh -huh. and improving the lie and I, i can tell you that i was uh obsessed, obsessed with the light mm -hmm. i start like using i still have it let's see if i can find it here around is this wall so this reflection wall ball is oh what yes I yes i see it so this metal can reflect the light and i uh -huh. can see when something works or something doesn't work uh -huh. if it's too much so that's how i start testing the diffusers and i remember a good friend of mine i want to say hi to him is oscar oscar uh he's from miami he was a key because he was like so uh into lighting as well and he, he was more like as a guy he was like I know that you can do better let's try a different panel let's try a different front panel and when I was like okay I think I got it then he was like ah uh, uh, can be better so he was the one that were pushing pushing and pushing and for me to me that was more like a competition a challenge to prove him that I was able to do it so <laughs> that's how I start and Emily, one day uh, I did a video. I did like a tutorial on how to build a macro diffuser. And I put it on YouTube and then it went viral, that video. And then my wife was the one that says, you know what? I believe you have a business there. Yes. <laughs> so she was the one. So I was like, no, I, I don't think that people are going to be I don't I don't know if people will be interesting on so I don't see the huge potential and I don't see like people were in that need to be honest and I was like sharing and then uh that's how I start but I was like telling people like yeah but do as I I I, I, I honestly like sharing with them the video so I was assuming people gonna follow the you know the path and just do it with so many people they were like I know that if I give you the money, can you do it for me? You know, and Way easier. I was like a full time. Yeah, I was like a full time back back in the day. I was like a full time work uh, in my career, so it was not. I didn't have the the chance, but little by little, I were I were I went more like doing for mm -hmm. friends, and I was like, okay, just for you. And then he shared with another friend, and that friend said, yeah, just for me. I I I don't want to tell anybody. And then I hear another person like, 
can you do one, one more for me? <laughs> he didn't say, he, they start like, like saying like, he didn't mention anything. It's more because I saw him doing, and then I, I started like asking people, where you get that? And, and that's when I, I, I get the answer. So they were not trying to, you know, to tell like that I did it for them, but that's how everything started basically. Yes, because the light, I mean, it's it's beautiful, that diffusion. So I probably was one of the person who watched your tutorial on YouTube and thought, yeah, I can do it. And I, I did do a basic diffuser and it worked very well. But yeah. there is nothing compared to the diffusion that we're getting from your product. It's really exceptional. And um, I know that you've been redesigning them. So on Monday, you actually launch a new product. So that's your old one. That's your old model that I have, which I love. <laughs> and you only redesign um, this panel, the diffuser panel, which yes. I love even more. I didn't know that was possible. And now you have, so that's the lettuce model, which I didn't think it would be possible to do better, but you did. Can you run us through your thought process? So what's different uh, with this new uh, redesign? And why did you decide to redesign it for a product that was already exceptional, in my opinion? I mean, I have it with me all the time that's my that's my diffuser i can't take a macro photo without this diffuser thank you so much <laughs> it's no, true I, everything i i can say emily i can tell you that ak diffuser is not uh, a diffuser from my own i can say it's a, a diffuser from people mm -hmm. we are like hearing people you know, hey, what about if you do this? What about if you change this? What about, you know, and that what about, I never say in my life, it's not possible. It's like, I couldn't do it, but I can try. Mm -hmm. So I believe this is the key of the AK diffuser. I, uh, without the, the, the feedback from people, we wouldn't be that far, honestly. And people have started like telling us, I love your diffuser. It's, nice but i have a little problem is and the problem that people were facing is like just to put it flat yes. you know in, in some bag because the one that you share uh let's see if i have it right here otherwise i was i can yeah. break down mine because they're also super Perfect. easy to break down <laughs> it's got like a little uh flange mm -hmm. so it's like a little bend right here it's like uh one inch little bit little bit more than one inch so that little flinch for some people were like bother to me I, w I didn't see that much so I didn't want to change an entire diffuser just because of that yeah I was like I know that you know it can be helpful but also it was like years and years you know of designing this new product that that product so to me it was like just that inch I didn't see as a as a huge thing and mm -hmm. then I was like, if I'm going to do a jump, I want to do it, but have to be with something more. Yes. And that's when I, I start like, thanks to this little ball again, is when I start challenge myself and really start basically from scratch. That's how I was like, you know, let's see what I can do. And I have like a couple months, uh, maybe like three months when I did the first test. And we have so many designs that I was like little by little getting into it. And then I was like, okay, I need then to close. So we close it for two weeks. Uh -huh. And that's when we were basically complete uh, all the designs and put it everything uh, how, how they should be. But honestly, it's not like two weeks that I just put in oh. the new diffuser. We got like months behind redesigning and we are super, when I'm talking about we, maybe people don't, don't know, but uh, my mom, my wife, and my kids, they are the, the, the person that are behind this. So mm -hmm. all the support is coming from them. So Yes, because AK, that's for your two sons. That is correct. Amir is my older one, and Amir is my little one. And I wanted something that I can share to the world that was coming from my, my two my two sons so i was like i know that uh i want them in the future when they grow up they can see that their daddy did something thinking on them so 
to me means a lot. And when I see the logo, I don't see the AK. I see Amir and Kamir over there. So you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, and that's what I love about you know your company. You a family company. You are you know putting your family forward. You putting your customer forwards because I remember having those discussion with you, think, telling you, Zamia, you know that would be cool if the Diflu user was flat. I was one of those person and it's not very often that a company listens to you and, and the feedback and actually took the time to make a product better so that's that's something that's very very impressing from your company um that yeah you you're listening to your customers and and i want to say to your friends because yes they are customers but i think that most of the yes. people who order the diffusers are end up being your friends anyhow <laughs> you are correct you are correct It's been amazing how I can, I have so many friends, good friends that I didn't see then. They ha never have their chance like you. I never had you, but I know. we love you. My family love you, you know? And this is, again, I feel like Macro gives me so much that is much more than a business. It's, give me, it's giving me like family. It's giving me the love behind the support that the help not only about relation to macro I, i i found people that being like yeah i feel if i can do this for you and that's how we've been grow growing even with people that are not related to macro so i guess lucky honestly unlucky the world is giving giving back to me so much love and i'm giving a little bit what i'm receiving much more than what i'm getting back so you I, you're I, giving I, us a lot of love with your deep <laughs> Yeah, you know uh, what you're doing for all of us. It's it's been amazing because you're doing diffusers, but you also created other products, right? You have the cards as well. Yes, we have uh the macro cards. I got it right here. Mm -hmm. The sets, uh, and also we're gonna have those cards in a larger size. It's gonna be coming soon. I don't know when, but it's gonna be coming soon. And it's just again, just hearing uh, to customers like from to friends from friends and telling us, hey, I also have a 200 millimeter uh, lens that I want to do for macro. So I need like a bigger uh, background car. And every product uh, that we have, Emily, is just like thinking on experience that we've been having and from experience from others. Uh, for example, like these macro cars, we want something that can handle water. So that's why it's waterproof, it's craft resistance. And just those little stuff is make it, uh, I believe it's coming from someone that also use it. I believe it's a little bit benefit over there. And again, I forget to tell people, but for the people there, this is one, something of the stuff uh, that I, I want to share with you. And it's basically, this is the bouncer. And by redesigning the bouncer, we also can use the bouncer and we can decrease what is the angle. And what is this is happening is giving to you like a backlight and it's work amazing. More for shiny subject like beetles. Yes. It's, it, it works. Also, something that we did with the bouncer, I'm going, going to share here. And I believe it's a little bit important for people to see. It's now that you have the ability, if you have something that is like hitting you, like a branch or something, you just disconnect one of the snap and you can put this back. So you have a lot of more chances to get closer. And then I was, okay, so we can do something even better. What about if we wanted to raise it up? So it's also have another snap button right here that is making this in place so yeah. have a little cut out in the bottom like a bit shape so that is the maximum magnification of the lens so that way you can really get approach to the subject without being a problem mm -hmm. and for people that didn't remember we have the rhinos holder on the side so we're really proud that we came with this and that you can use it in front of your lens and it's working phenomenal. Also, we have uh, the LED that it, people can use it to focus at night. Uh, 
or in a dark environment. And I believe it's, it's really good, uh, a good experience using the diffuser. So that's what I try my best. It's just like to simplify the experience that you're gonna have doing macro and the diffuser can basically um, be with you. Because yeah. I want to be honest with people, like if I give it the diffuser to somebody else that doesn't have any experience in photography, it's gonna be just nothing. But if you know a little bit, it's a good tool, like a camera, a flash, but it's a wonderful tool and it's something that I use my own. I, what I sell is what I use. So I want people to, to know this, that I, it's not that I'm having something special. It's not that i saying to Emily something different than what I sell. It's just I'm, I'm, what I'm giving is what I think is, is the best personally. And I'm proud and of, the, of where we where we were and where we, I see us as, as a business. And I believe we have a lot of stuff that we can continue to improve. I don't want to say this is the last design because honestly, it's always things to improve. Always is something to improve. No, I don't know how you could make it <laughs> better. Honestly, I, I don't. And even it comes with our bag, you including oh, yeah. bag as well in it. And just in case, if you don't have enough pocket, there is an extra pocket to put things in yes. there, like your cards. Uh, no, this is like, this is to another level. I just, I've been very impressed. I was at the uh, Salon de la Photo in Montreal last week. I had so many people stopping by and testing the diffuser and they were all very, very impressed with uh, with your products. So, uh, uh, and just, you need to understand that you need to control light to get a great macro photo. If you have a beautiful subject, but you have hot spots, that's not going to work. You need to be able to control and diffuse your light. And that's why you're using a diffuser. And I've seen some people showing me their photo and I said, yeah, you're not using a flash and a diffuser. Your light is not good right now or using just a flash, not going to work. And, and they were very, uh, impressed by the quality of of the diffusion from from your diffuser so thank you so much and yeah. and emily something that we try our best um it's like we don't have one design we don't focus just in one design we basically like try our best to have as many designs as possible and because we respect your gear I mean, if you have this, this, and this, we're going to make something not universal. We want to do something that's going to work the best for what you have. So respecting the lighting as much as possible is why we have, we don't have like every single diffuser, but we have a really huge uh, vi vi variations in, in our website. Uh, if people go, they can see all the flashes and, and, and lenses uh, possibilities from different diffusers. And also, uh, you can have a special area where where you can quote. If you if you see that the gear is not listed there, people all what people can do is just type in the dimensions, put it over there, and I'm gonna make a diffuser just using that those dimensions for you. So this is uh, why I believe that we are being blessed. And it's more because we are giving a little bit more to people. And it's just like having those uh, dimensions, having all this from the back and really doing something personalized for, for, for the person, for you, I believe it's the key. And as you shared to the people, uh, you were having one diffuser, but you also have another one for the different setup. And it's because of that. Yes, I have two. I have the one for the 60 millimeter macro and uh, the OM5, and I have the one for the OM1 and uh, the 90 millimeter macro. Because you're right, they then you they are tailored to your camera, your flash, and your uh, lenses, and that's that's key. And uh, very often when people buy a diffuser, it's like that's there's one diffuser. Well, no, we all have different cameras and. Yes. So that you're getting, mm -hmm. you're getting a tailored product, basically. That's what you, you are getting when you're buying an AK diffuser. Yes. Yes. No, and, and as I say, we're trying our best 
And if we couldn't, we say it. We couldn't, you know. It's not that we try to sell something just to sell. So it's we really care about our product. And I believe uh, our feedback can tell a little bit about that. We're trying our best to to basically give to to people what they need. And if something doesn't work, we handle, we work on, and we make it work. And I remember Emily with you. Thank we, you so much. I remember when you had the 90 millimeter I lens. Know. Oh my God, back in the days, a few months ago, right? February? A few months ago, yes. Yeah. And February. I was saying, oh, I, need, I need a diffuser for this new lens. And you were like, okay, just, I was sending you the dimension and yeah. then you were sending me, you know, pieces of the diffuser and <laughs> yeah. we were putting them together. Nobody does that but you, Zamir. Um, <laughs> that was really that was really fun and to see your thought process. Uh, on and, and, and see just like the love that you put it behind those dimensions also, it's just, you know, I was like super engaged with you when that happened. I was like, no, she really also care about lighting when somebody, you know, is doing their work. And then uh, you say, Samir, it can be better. I remember that. I remember like when I did send it to you, I say, that's fine. You know, it's just the first one. I'm not selling that one yet. So uh -huh. let, let's see where we can, we it can go. It's essential. I'm a teacher. So I'm used to having like, okay, my lessons can be better. Or oh, my students, yes, you guys can do better. So that's in my language. Sure. What can I do better? You're right. I'm very much like you. This is, this is a good photo, but what can I do better? How can yeah. I improve? It's always that. It's always going for that that photo that you haven't yet and what will it be that's very very exciting so that search of light and that search of subject as a macro photographer i think is very very similar but zamir you are a photographer too so what's your go-to camera what's your gear what do you like to shoot with oh my god that's a good question i'm coming from canon uh-huh and then when uh the micro forte uh, so Oscar was the one that basically introduced me to Olympus mm -hmm. and he said, he told me basically, Hey, you need to try this. I was like, ah, it's in a small sensor, uh, maybe later, you know, and that's how I started using Olympus and I am in love with Olympus. Uh, the only thing that Olympus were missing was a really good, uh, like two times magnification lens. Mm -hmm. Boom, they came out with this. So they, they listen to you. people as well. So they do listen to people. When they came with that two times magnification and I had it on my hands, I couldn't believe how good that lens is. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe like taking uh, Aperture F16 with that lens, that sharp. Like no problem. Nothing, like no problem. If you have, I know an Olympus, Olympus ambassador like Emily but if you have the chance to try the Olympus 90 millimeter do yourself a favor you won't regret it. it's amazing it's amazing it's a game changer yes. and all the benefit from Olympus from the OM system all the benefits they having with the new equipment is amazing the camera, everything that can do to you. So it's not nothing that I can compare right now uh, from another brand. I love my Canon. I love uh, Nikon. I also being a user from uh, Nikon as well as a Canon. So a little bit open mind into gears. But when you're talking about macro, I believe it's nothing that can be close to Olympus. Yes, there are a lot of photographers who are switching to OM system just for the macro capacity because it's it's really amazing all the features that this camera has with the focus stacking, the bracketing, the focus stacking in camera, you know, um, just yes. fun tool to use. Uh, and as you say, you're right. If you're going to switch system, go and try the camera. Don't listen to us. Yes. Go and try it for yourself. Try. That will be enough. <laughs> Yes. And then pricing, when you compare gears price yes. and what you're getting for what you're paying, it's nothing that you can compare. It's nothing. And and it's a, I can say what I can tell you about uh, the OM, OM system, how I feel. It's more like it's something that can achieve what you want to achieve. 
Yes. You know, it's something that you want to do this. Okay, let's do it. Yes. And it's something how when I build my diffuser, that's how I want people experience. It's like if I want to have shadow, if I don't want to have a lot of shadow, let me have let me let me have my decision. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have the bouncer on top, the bouncer on top, you know, that but can be used on top about it. It's flexibility. It's like you decided what you want to do. And I believe this is the beauty behind the OM system. It's yeah. like you want it, okay, we are there for you. We're giving to you all the tools. Just press the button and put the right configuration, but you're going to be there. Yeah. And I'm telling something I can tell people is like, also, Emily, I believe it's a good, something good to tell uh, people. The camera, flash, diffuser, everything is a key. But also learning about it, have like instruction, is much more. So if you buy gears, also think about how to like like having someone like a teacher somebody that can go with you is a key with this because you want to learn so much with somebody behind you that by yourself you can do it it's gonna be years yes and now that you're spending all that money i believe you need to also spend on the career you need to spend on the good guy and I'm, I'm thinking like learning from books uh, or a teacher is the way to go and to do it properly. Yes. And practice, practice, practice. Practice, you, practice. You bought a expensive gear, you have all your setup and the only way to progress is really to get yes. to know your camera, get to know your settings. And uh, macro is, is, it's hard, you know. Uh, so you're really going to have to be in the field and spend a lot of uh, time and effort and, and practice will make you definitely a better macro photographer. I practice every, every day to try to get better and better. Uh, that's just, you know, key. Uh, but Zamir, I just wanted to thank you again for accepting you know my invitation to come to the channel to introduce us uh, to your absolutely gorgeous uh, new uh, AK diffuser I'm so excited they're with me everywhere I go even when <laughs> I go to school I bring them to school and uh, my kids are always asking me to take pictures <laughs> <laughs> macro photo so, yes they're already very well aware of the ak diffuser and uh, um yes thank you so so much for everything and what i will do is i will put the link to your diffuser uh to your new website for people to uh, uh go and check it out oh my god thank you so much yes. and then everybody if you want to put a, uh, some comments uh zamir and i will be on on the channel and we'll check and we'll make sure that you answer them so feel free to you know post your your questions under and uh we're gonna thank everybody for joining us this sunday morning and uh, uh again thank you so much zamir i hope that next time it's not going to be by video but maybe i'll come down to meet you or maybe you come over to new hampshire and, and meet me or maybe we'll meet in alaska oh yeah why not <laughs> i want to go to alaska let's do that thank you so much <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. -bye, Thank you so everybody. Much, Bye. <laughs>